Hi everybody, my name is Rachel Booth and I'm a student at Mississippi State University. I also work in the Construction Materials Research Center. For the next few minutes, I'm going to be your guide on a tour of Interstate 269. Projects like Interstate 269 are important because they highlight our workforce and the importance of infrastructure in everyday life. The Mississippi State Board of Contractors has funded a project where we are doing education and craft training for many sectors of construction. This is a huge field that encompasses a wide range of career opportunities. With this video, we hope to show you how there is a place for you in the construction industry. If you were to choose a career in this field, you would be influential on in helping people and making their lives easier. Roads, in my opinion, are pretty much the heartbeat of society, of the economy. Um, without roads, kids aren't born in hospitals, uh, jobs are you're not getting to your job, so uh, roads are very important. In a recent survey of current transportation infrastructure workers, we discovered something. Of over 200 respondents, we found that 93% were either satisfied or very satisfied working with transportation infrastructure. But less than 3% while in high school were very aware of the availability of the vast number of related career paths. When I was in high school, I was vaguely familiar with what the civil engineering field consisted of, but I wasn't 100% really what it all consisted of. And after working at MDOT for two summers, I really learned what, what the road building aspect contained. Interstate 269 has been built over an eight-year period at a total cost of approximately $420 million. It is roughly 27 miles long and there is about 1 million tons of asphalt being brought in by 40,000 truckloads. If all of those trucks were placed end to end, they would stretch from Tupelo to Biloxi. The Empire State Building, at approximately 331,000 tons, weighs a mere third of the weight of all the asphalt being brought in. We can make the same analogies about the concrete and the 36 bridges that were built, the soil and all the embankments, or the cemented base that would cover over 600 football fields. Obviously, this is a massive project that requires a massive workforce. Let's meet some of them. There are actually two types of products that we supply on projects like Interstate 269. One is liquid asphalt and the other is emulsified asphalt. The liquid asphalt is actually the glue that holds the rocks together in hot mix pavements. The emulsified asphalt is used for applications like tack coat or bond coat, which actually binds two layers of asphalt pavements together. Paragon Technical Services, we support the paving industry by providing physical property testing for the products being employed in the field. Uh, we take asphalt that come from the crude refining. So the asphalts come in different grades. Out of the refinery, they can be very soft, as this product is right here. If you put something this soft on the road, it will stick it'll flow with the heat, um, so we need to sometimes mix them with harder products. We also have a hard asphalt here. This would be too hard as the product would crack and brittle in cold temperatures. So we have to find a blend between both that will work. Once we do the blends, we also add synthetic rubber to our blends. And the reason we add synthetic rubber is to keep pliability on the ropes. We want to make sure that the product is environmentally friendly. We also want to make sure that it's going to work well with the soils and the different aspects that play into the roadway. Well, what we do in quality control is exactly what it sounds like. We control the actual quality of what is produced. We're able to take a sample of what goes on the road and we're able to check that. A sample of a mix that we actually designed to start with so we have a baseline so we know what things are supposed to look like so we're able to check it as the plant produces it to see if it meets the baseline criteria um, to find out if it's actually worthy to be put on the road. We have engineers that help us with our products and also help us write specs. We have communication specialists that help us with publications and websites we also have people who market the products and chemists who make sure that all components are going to work together. This is an industry that's all-encompassing and welcomes everyone. I am Tony Robinson with Ergon Inc. in Jackson, Mississippi, and I am a copywriter. Before I came to work here, I had no idea that you could write about asphalt and make it pretty, but you can, and I enjoy every bit of it. 
Hey everybody, this is Isaac from Mississippi State University and we're here at Ergon Asphalt and Emulsions Terminal in Memphis, Tennessee, which is the terminal that's supplying some of the quality products that you see building Interstate 269 in North Mississippi. We're going to be taking you to Interstate later, but right now what we're doing is we're talking to people about creating good products to build good highways. Basically, I coordinate the, uh, all aspects of the facility. We make all different types of asphalt and emulsion products. For the road construction industry, we also have lube oils. We have diesel, which is used to, uh, to service tugs going up and down the Mississippi. I am the production leader, and I'm over the emulsion and polymer plants. So I'm over the production of the polymerized asphalt and the emulsified asphalt. My job to petition is to uh, load and deliver freight from one point. We don't have the same place every day to deliver from, or to. We're in the forefront of new technologies, and we work hand in hand with DOTs and contractors. I would recommend this job to, to anybody that's that's interested in helping uh, create a better infrastructure throughout the, the states and the, the nation. The job is fine. It's, it's a lovely job. The trucking industry, I think, will be around forever. When you haul for the government, don't tell nobody. You get a whole lot of days off. <laughs>I like to see a finished product, you know, from the beginning of the project all the way through its completion. It just, it's, it's something you can see a finished product. It's a, uh, to me it's, it's a satisfying job. Um, getting to go home after uh, a job's been completed, I get this satisfaction knowing that uh, I was a part of something bigger than myself. Well, from an early age, I really enjoyed like designing and building things and in civil engineering, you get to design roads and bridges and all kind of different things that um, are very neat and when you're finished it helps the public a lot. With civil engineering I, I noticed there's a lot more opportunity to get out in the field unlike some other engineering fields. Uh, I don't want to be stuck behind a desk. I really like getting out. It's a lot more exciting to me. Civil engineering is a, is a great major to choose, great profession. You work with the public and the people and uh, anytime you work with the public you make a good difference. Working for MDOT has given me an opportunity to go fix roads, uh, like especially here at home working close to where I live. I see an issue and and then through construction that issue has been resolved. When you, when you go to college as a civil engineer you really don't you really don't know a, a whole lot about what's going on and the, the further you get in college the more specialized college becomes and you start to learn a lot more hands-on things with what's going on in civil engineering. And it becomes it becomes more interesting as you go, and eventually, you know, through interning here twice, I come come to kind of like it. I'd, I'd highly recommend this field to uh, high school students, especially if you're interested in math and sciences. Uh, if you enjoy uh, tackling challenging problems, uh, trying to figure things out, um, that's what that's what we do here with construction. We we see problems with the roads. Um, and we uh, work towards solutions to fix them so the traveling public can uh, get where they need to go. I encourage young women to look at pursuing the fields of engineering and construction and transportation. For those of you that are interested in math and being outdoors, it's a great place to put your skills to use. My name is James Crump. I'm from Aberdeen, Mississippi. I'm a bulldozer operator with Utah Construction. It's, there's a lot more to it than just pushing dirt. It's My responsibilities are to uh, manage the uh, people on the site and manage 
you know, activities going on for the day and you know future activities. Get to be out in the open. I like to work outside. I don't like to be cooped up. Working with dirt, do all kind of things with it. When I got out of school, I wanted to go into medical, and I realized how fast that that was not what I liked. So uh, I kind of went back to what um, was the right thing in my head. I, I used to draw things, you know, on how to build houses and stuff like that when I was a kid. You gotta get it at the right grade as far as, you know, for your dirt to be level. You don't want a bunch of waves, and you gotta get your slopes, and you gotta walk it good where it hit on the road. I enjoy it for my own, maybe for my own personal satisfaction in that you know, I'm able to see projects being completed and, and doing something that I can come back to 50 years from now and say I did that. You have to do quality work to have a good road. You know, if you don't get a good foundation, you, you're going to have dips and holes all over your road. Everybody knows how that is. Tear up all your vehicles. We try to do everything the way it's supposed to be done. We're actually on Interstate 269 right now watching Tanner Construction Company build the base layer that's going to become Interstate 269. And in the background you can see lots and lots and lots of highly skilled work going on to build the roads that carry our freight and our people effectively, efficiently, and safely around the state. I'm a supervisor on this particular project, strictly over engraved prep and soil stabilization. Every day is a challenge. Um, it's a never a dull moment. There's good people out here to work with. Uh, a lot of people have really got to want to. I enjoy being a leader, helping young folks that's coming in or wants to be in this position for the ones who've got doubt that anything's possible that can happen. I've actually been in construction for 37 years and it's been very rewarding for me and my family and it's a uh, it's a good way to make a living. I dug my first farm when I was nine years old. I've been in it for right around 35 years. My first toy for Christmas was a rubber tired backhoe so I was set for this. It's very impressive to see a project when it was started, what it looked like before and the end result. It is very satisfying. We've moved on down Interstate 269, and we're now watching Levin Roberts Company do some asphalt paving for us. You can see out here in the back, a lot of activity going on still. Key thing, good people, good products, very important process. These highways and bridges are essential to our way of life, and you're just seeing another stage of the construction of Interstate 269. I came here looking for a job. Just the time when I got here, and I like working outside, working with equipment. A lot of new things to learn, a lot of challenges, I just stuck with it. I enjoy mostly being outside and uh, talking to different people every day. Um, we practically do the same thing every day, but no two days are the same. I like that about it. I get to spend time on the road doing different projects and I enjoy that. My name is Farah and I'm originally from Central Arkansas. But I've lived in Memphis for the last eight years. I am the communications director and I'm also a community engagement for the Roberts Company. I deal a lot with the reporting and the financial, so I look at budgeting versus actual. I look at to make look at things to make sure that we are on track as far as what we said we were gonna do and what we actually achieved. Take that information that we collect in the field, bring it back to the office and we'll begin to maybe do different things like hazard forecasting, which is looking into the future, looking at the trends that we see here in the field and things that could be coming um, that we could get rid of uh, by implementing different training procedures or by changing the way that we do work. Originally I thought I'd be somewhere in a corporate office, but it's actually a lot of fun to be able to work for a construction company because you get to interact with different types of people who aren't all corporate. Um, I like that I can sometimes talk to the people on the crew when I'm looking at how they're doing as far as uh, moving along with their jobs and how much longer it's going to take. The diversity of roles in the company, um, the diversity of human beings that fill those roles education-wise, generationally, it is an amazing industry.
We're still on Interstate 269, but this time we're at Superior Asphalt's facility. They actually brought this plant in, built it here on site, specifically to build Interstate 269. We showed you Lehman Roberts earlier today. Lehman Roberts has a plant that's closed. So both of these plants are supplying asphalt. My duties as a foreman for Superior Asphalt is making sure we get good uh, asphalt quality in the road and get good compaction on the road. You start off with raw material, you apply heat to it with asphalt liquid. When it comes out and goes in the truck, it's, it's hot mix. I'm actually a fifth generation road builder, so yeah, it is something that I've always uh, always knew I was going to do. It's very, it's very different. Uh, it's, I do recommend it. Uh, you will learn a lot. Um, I hated math. I was not good at math. I use math every single day. That's pretty interesting. You do a lot of uh, electrical, mechanical, and when you run the plant, spec mix. You meet a lot of different people in this line of work. So it's, it's pretty interesting pretty much all the time. The CMRC, the Construction Materials Research Center, within Bagley College of Engineering at Mississippi State University, is an agency, industry, and university partnership. Our goal was by making you aware of the transportation career opportunities, we are giving you the chance to join our team and make an impact. If you would like to hear more about opportunities in transportation infrastructure, contact Dr. Howard or visit the CMRC website.